is Kate. Welcome to the Prince with Narcissist 101. Thank you for joining me. Haven't subscribed? Please do not forget to like and share as well. Guys, today's topic is the five things that you will observe uh, when the covert narcissist and the new supply have a child together. Uh, the five things that you observe where your kids are concerned when the covert narcissist and the new supply have a child together. Now, the quick uh, pregnancy that happens after the discard or escape is a whole different uh, video. Um, but when they have a child together, um, in the beginning, things that look like they're perfect, you know, they, they are, because they're so consumed with trying to show you they have the new and improved uh, man, the new and improved uh, a woman, and their families are all the new and improved. So your kids are incorporated in this. So you see them, you know, want to spend some more time with the kids. They want to take them different places. All they all go together with a new supply and the child or whatever. And so everybody is, you know, it looks like it's all perfect. They finally, you know, they get it right. But they get tired of this. They really do get tired of this pretty quick. So once that whole novelty thing wears off quickly, um, these are some of the things that you will you will observe. One is that nothing changes where the covert narcissist is concerned with the new child. Nothing changes. The same way they are with your children. When you had them, they were living, you were living in the same house, the same hands off, the approach that they have with the kids is the same thing. Unless they need something from that child, just like they did with yours, it's the same thing. Nothing changed. They're not a, a better mother now. They're not a better father now. The same thing happens. Number two, guys, of course, your kids will be excluded with things. They will be excluded out of things. And this, what I mean is by maybe vacation or anything that will cost extra money. You're this, they're excluded. Now, this is something that happened with my children where um, they'll plan vacations. You know, the kids will be there with them like in the summer, maybe a four weeks or so. They don't go anywhere. They don't take the kids anywhere until maybe they literally, the day the kids leave, then the next two days or whatever, they're out on vacation. And then they tell the children they're out on vacation. But the whole time they're with them, they didn't take them. And this is because the kids are a session of you. And if you are paying, uh, they're paying you child support or something like that, uh, they don't feel the need to spend extra money on the children. They really don't feel the need to spend extra money on the children because the children are your problem. They, those are the, your concern. They already paid, in quotes, for them. Um, the next one, guys, is that unfortunately your kids will be used as babysitters. Uh, if your children are uh, getting older as mine are, uh, they'll be used as babysitters. Now, there's nothing wrong with older kids, children watching younger kids. Nothing wrong with that. But when the current nurses and the new supply plan uh, the children's visit in a such a way that the, the children that are supposed to visit them, which is what your visitation time is, or spend time with them, they make it in such a way they're not there. They leave the children with the, the child that the COVID nurse, the new supply had. So they schedule everything they want to do so that they be out of the house. So your children are left <laughs> babysitting uh, the, the child they have with a new supply. And this is structured in a way that it doesn't, they spend that whole weekend or whatever, however time they're gone, not spending time with the children that they're supposed to come visit, which is what it was you're supposed to do. Uh, they'll be gone the whole time until the children come come back and then that's it. They plan the same thing all over again. But supposedly they're they getting visitation time, which is not. So the children will turn into babysitters. The next one, guys, is that they, they will use the, the new child now to punish your children. And what do I mean by that? If your children are getting older like mine are, of course, where they're questioning things, they, they you know, something doesn't line up, they want to ask questions. Uh, the covert nurse who, of course, doesn't want to be accountable for anything, gets mad at this. Or maybe he calls them or whatever and they don't answer. The next time he gets hold of him on the phone, the only thing he'll be talking about is how, what he did with the child over there, the new supplies child, what he did with over there, what they... What happened? What they what they all did together? What they what he bought for them? What like different things? Nothing relates to the child that you called or children you called to ask them questions about them. That's why you call to check in on your children. You want to ask them, okay, how is school? How is this? None of that. They'll be so focused on trying to show these kids. Well, since you questioned me the last time and you're not behaving, in quote, well, see, this one over here that is behaving, this is what I'm doing for them. They will do this so many times. I can't tell you how many times this has happened to my children. And the next one, guys, is, of course, um, if they are to get them anything, you know, if buying anything for the children or spending any kind of money for the children again, and this doesn't even matter. If this might be like maybe getting a haircut or something, they will take the child that they have with a new supply and leave yours behind. Why? Because yours is your problem, <laughs> the extension of you. And as far as they are concerned, they've already paid you for this. So they're not going to involve their children. Even if that child will benefit 
whatever it is they're about to do they will not factor that child in this is something that obviously has happened to me as well so guys um the common narcissist doesn't um nothing changes first of all with the new with the new child and but you have to expect these things to happen uh with your children and, and prepare yourself accordingly because you have to have you have to be that stability the kids need because over there with the covert narcissist so many crazy things are going to happen so many things crazy things are still going to continue to happen over there you know but you knew these are some of the things that your children will witness and you should be able to have everything equipped to counter this because it will happen i know they you might witness one or two things or you might not witness all of them i did witness every every five of these things that happen but we all know they operate from the same handbook you know so you be there to provide you know all you know all the things that the child would, the children would need because the covert narcissist definitely would do one or two of the things all right guys get a hold of your mind and everything's falling into place